Hello, welcome to my channel. Oh my god, okay. We're back. This is the finale episode of Only Murders in the Building. We are watching the final three episodes today. I don't know how to think. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to talk. I don't know how to do anything anymore. All I know is that I really, I, there's three more episodes. That means that so much more can happen. We know that Theo accidentally killed Zoe and we know that Teddy threatened Tim and that's why Oscar went away but we don't know why they killed Tim and they threatened Mabel too. They threatened Mabel through Tim. I'm so nervous. I'm so excited. What does it mean to be a fan of something? For me, it means undying. Ooh, so who is, who's narrating this one? Being a fan is like being married. Oh! No matter how these are fans is. of the podcast. That's how I feel about the Only Murders podcast. Cute. Some fans are Maybelline. Me. Some are Hayden Maidens. A few, like me, are Putnuts. <laughs> Putnuts. <laughs> I'm a Mabel fan myself. Love my girl Mabel. Don't hate on Mabel. She's my girl. I love her. What is that smell? Uh, dead bodies. Oh, no. it, it, it like formaldehyde. Dead bodies. You know, they use a touchy subject. Like that. <laughs> Oh, Theo, these are friends. These are friends. That's why we put them in the back of a van with a bunch of dead bodies. Theo can't read my lips or see me in the rear view, which is nice. Through Theo, I realized the beauty of silence. It makes for beautiful friendships and partnerships. The beauty of silence. We hear you loud and clear. You stay silent or I make you silent. I'm talking about what you've heard and seen about me good subject for a podcast just not yours we know what you did to tim kono we don't know shit about tim kono um to find a final episode of the show i so generously fund and hear that you are wrong no sadly tim kono shot himself oh i want them to get him so badly now I would hate to see any more bad things happen to the tenants in his building oh because if you don't well i know where you live that's a threat. I really, really hope. Oh my God. I really hope that Oliver was recording that. <laughs> We're dying for the next episode. We may be two. <laughs> yeah, we may be two. No worries. Oh, oh hey. Charles is getting bagels. She's just like, yeah, we had sex after playing some very erotic Scrabble. Celebrate one another's bodies. Oh, we went. Oh, th that's the worst way to say it. No. Process was our safe word. And <laughs> no. Teddy Demas doesn't know what we know. What do we know? Why is Jane involved now? Investigation into a whole new direction. Okay, now I don't like them. <laughs> it's money time, baby. Payday is here and the check is in the mail. <laughs> That's right, I said murdered. Okay, I heard murder, but what the fuck else with the rest of that? Well, it's uh, police talk, isn't it? It's police talk, right? No. Get the who, the how, the why, and the why now. Get, get the, the what and the what? See, why would you say what? I never said what. There's no what. There's no what. The who, the how, the why, and the why now. Homemade pizza rolls. <laughs> oh, great. She's here. Okay. Thanks for finally answering my text. Sorry been a little preoccupied and minorly traumatized. Girl, she's majorly traumatized. She's been traumatized her whole life. Isn't that right, Bella? How fun is this? Oh, so fun. We're being <laughs> threatened to be killed. Okay, so did you get the green ring? The cutter sold it to Kono. Tim actually got it the day before he was killed. Maybe whoever killed <gasps> him took it. The Demises. That's it. Because we care about Absolutely. that ring. That's our why now. Oh, is it though? I don't know. It Get out of here, Jan! Always wanted to throw that word around. <laughs> God, she's so fucking annoying. <laughs> okay, you know what? Guys, I need air and uh, some dip for these really dry rolls. <laughs> Jesus, don't you people have a home to go to? <laughs> Are you all busy right now? No. no. Come with me. Oh my God. He's inviting them in. She was in Glee! Oh my god, the woman in the wheelchair, she was in Glee! Hey! 
Introducing myself? Oh. Hey, Jan is my girlfriend. I am? If you want to be. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't need to see that. Stop it. They know more than we do. Certainly more than Jan, who is, how do I put this politely? Reverse. <laughs> Reverse helpful. She's fucking annoying. Guys, I know we all like the Dima stuff, but what about the cat? The who? Well, I'm just going over your notes here, and why aren't we looking more at this man, Howard Morris? We've already talked to Howard. But please, shut up. <laughs> shut up, Jan! Get out of here! Tim Kono enters the Arconia. <laughs> I like that he has a stage in his apartment. <laughs> Fire lumps. Whoop! Whoop! And Theo Demas pushes his way in. Theo wants to protect his dad from Tim exposing all- This is so stupid, I love it! Ooh. Beautiful. Bravo. Bravo. I don't know, you guys. Don't you think it feels a little too easy? I, mean, I take another look at Howard. Tim did not die because of a cat, Jan. Shut up, Jan! Jan, we kind of worked on this as a team together. And I'm not on the team. No, you're not. No, no, you have great ideas. Charles, let her go. We're on the clock. I think she's mad at me. Oh, she's definitely. Yeah, she's definitely mad at you. Oh, God, there's going to be somebody there. There's going to be so. Oh, there's something. Oh, what is it? I'm watching you. That's Theo. That's Theo for sure, right? That's spooky. I don't like it. No, 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 spooky. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm so nervous. The Demises take a dip. That's a great name for an episode. Who's knocking on their door? The, the day police? Was murdered was the day he finally got the, the police! The fact of his story of what he saw the night his friend Zoe died. <gasps> Wait, what if, what if it was Jan? What if it was Jan? Cause she was trying to put the blame back on Howard. What if Jan was working with the Demises? I don't know. Can you believe that this is how crimes are solved now? <laughs> I know, isn't it fantastic? And I'm genuinely impressed. You nailed them. Blows. Wait. Whoa, 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 hold on. Report of autopsy. Shit. Fuck. What happened? What fuck, does it say? Man. I didn't. Is that a good shit fuck fuck? Tox reports back. Tim Cole poisoned? Was poisoned. He was already dead when he was shot. Man, I'm sitting here looking at timestamp photos from that night of the Demises outside before the fire alarm even went off. Wait, so they didn't kill Tim, but does that mean it's Jan? There may still be a murder in the building. Nice hot vegetables. Uh, you mean my girlfriend? I mean, your right? girlfriend Wait, is probably the killer. Nobody ever listens to me or Jan. Yeah, because Jan's annoying as fuck, and it's probably because she wants to lead them off the case. They don't want them to know that it's her. Jan? What's going on? Jan, it's Charles. <sighs> Those are pretty flowers. Oh no, is she dead? Jan. Is she poisoned? Oh shit! Jan. Oh shit, she's what? Okay, so it's not Jan. Who killed him? I'm so confused. I don't know anything anymore. What is happening? New York in winter is no friend of the bassoon. Okay, wait, so is Jan still alive if she's narrating? Karen yeah, no, she's, she's not alive. Oh, no, she is alive. Get well soon. Sorry you got stabbed. Well, who stabbed her? Doesn't she know? I want to kill whoever did this to you. If it was Howard the cat guy, who you tried to remind us of, I want to snap his leg off like I snapped <laughs> off his cat's leg. That's hot. Really? And I never saw the person. Of course you never saw the person. Someone's coming up? Pataki, my stunt double from Brazos. Your stunt double from 20 years ago just pops over? Yeah, it's a thing. Bad timing, which is also a Pataki thing. We have kind of a complicated history, but I'm gonna make this go. Pataki? Like Helga Pataki? <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, it's Jane Lynch! 
Oh, oh god, we're getting another note. We're getting another note. Oh my god. A building meeting. To discuss this murder and podcast nonsense. Safe in the knowledge that the owners haven't murdered anyone in the last few months. The owners haven't murdered anyone in the last few months. Also, why is Oscar coming out of Mabel's apartment without a shirt on? Hello? I just see. <laughs> Do you mm. like it? I like it. Yeah. I like it. They're so cute. Stop. I love them. Why don't you change the locks on me? But she let me back in to grab a few things. Obviously, I'm not moving in permanently. Is he here? He's in there. <laughs> I don't know what work you've had done, but it's too much. And that is not the response you first want. <laughs> is that? I'm over here. Ah! <laughs> what is this face off? I just don't get this yet. Well, look, we know that. <laughs> I love the mirror. It gets so good. Might I offer up a notion here? You're missing one very big thing. Motive. I'm not used to seeing Jane Lynch not in a <laughs> not in a tracksuit. Romantic fury, the desire to see someone suffer before you blow their brains out. Interesting. Okay. Can I show you the suicide notes? Bring them on, hon. For that is not what you write to cover a suicide. You use words like, I want to die. This is an accidental confession from a lovelorn murderer. I am riveted. Oh, so Tim was just enjoying a nice, smooth bourbon with his killer? We saw those. We just... I think they made me thirsty. Yeah, I'll bet you a Hunsky they come back positive for the poison that killed Tim. Ooh, yeah. <gasps> Don't worry, folks. We're done. Excuse me? This is getting way too messy. So, yes, the podcast and the investigations. No, 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 no. All will be back to normal, hopefully soon. What are you doing? No. Perhaps we should take a vote on 12 no! and 14. No! See? Please. What? You can't evict my aunt. No, just you. Don't evict them! Fuck off, buddy! Do you think his sex toys could reveal anything? Oh, no. Like, uh, <laughs> girl guy, guy guy, they them, they girl, guy them. <clears throat> Look, all I know is that it goes into a hole somewhere. Okay. One of those might have been a sex toy, one of those might not have been. The trash bag that Tim had in the elevator has blue straps. So? But all the trash bags I got from his apartment when I oh. took all of his stuff have orange straps. So that wasn't his trash? Who else lives on six? Tim's next door neighbor. Indeed. She might know if he was seeing someone. Absolutely, that's brilliant. But one thing I could never get about you is how someone as wonderful as you could think so of themselves. They're friends! I kind of, not really. This is the girl for you, pal. I felt it the moment I walked into the room yesterday. Aww. And she's got a very big first chair bassoon moment tonight. And here you are, in the apartment, with your creaky needs stunt double, and your sad little melancholy omelet. Facts. Why are you making such a sad omelet? Well, I never saw anyone, but we certainly heard a late night visitor. A loud one. Sex. You mean sex. <laughs> you mean sex! But it was a woman. Oh, yes. I never heard a woman scream like that. Okay, Tim. Okay, Tim. Get it. All right. This one tells me that she likes pretending she's a cat. <laughs> I don't know. What is this? <laughs> I mean... It looks, that looks like a cat toy. Exotic instruments. Somebody young look that up. Somebody young look that up. I don't know what it is, but it looks, oh, does it, is it for cleaning a bassoon? Wait. Is it for cleaning an instrument? Is it for cleaning a bassoon? Is it Jan? Tonight, we break custom, for very good reason, with this evening's Stravinsky piece, to give special mention to our soloist, 
the youngest first chair bassoonist in our <gasps> symphony's history, Miss Allison Tipton. Oh, she's not first chair anymore. Oh, that's so sad. That's why she didn't want her. It sells musical instruments. Really? Oliver, why is there a bassoon cleaner in Tim's sex toy <gasps> box? I knew it! Oh my god, I called it. I literally called it. And now his nose is bleeding. Oh my god. Yo! What? What? Stop. Oh my god, okay. Did you see that coming? I kind of called it. Okay, we're going on to the final episode. Open and shut. Episode 10 of season 1. I'm so nervous! I don't know what's gonna happen. Was it really Jan? I think it was Jan. 23 seconds. Damn. That's the time I spent when I was actually alive with three people on an elevator. Wait, Tim is narrating this one? Hold on. My name is Tim Kono. I lived in apartment 9A here at the Arconia. Approximately 12 minutes from now, I will be murdered. But let's not rush this. Get to know a fellow a little before he tells you how he died, right? After Mabel, and Oscar, and Zoe. The loneliness oh. came after I lost all of them. God. Sometimes you welcome them in. With inhibitions lowered, with arms wide open. Yo! Holy shit. Oh my God, she's gotten to you already. What's going on? So funny story. You're sleeping with a murderer! I love this show so much. It's so good. <laughs> Jan lives on the sixth floor. Tim was carrying someone else's trash bag full of suicide notes and cocktail glasses from the sixth floor. So I know this isn't easy to hear, but we found out that Tim was having some sort of romantic thing. With Jan was fucking Tim Kona. <laughs> Jan was fucking Tim Kona. Someone stabbed her? Oh, right. I forgot the real killer decided not to kill Jan. <laughs> she could have easily stabbed herself. She could have just like... Whoosh. She's, at, she's at, at, the, at the symphony. Still playing. I left early. Then why'd you do that? Because she lied to you. Just please look at what's in front of you and be careful. So Jan is still at the symphony. Break into her apartment! Break into her apartment! Ooh, look at the handwriting! Look at the handwriting! I raced here right at intermission. They won't notice I'm gone. Which is, well, pretty devastating to say out loud, honestly. Anyway, oh, I, she I'm saw him? Mortified. I don't know why I lied to you about being first chair. Are you sure? That looks fresh. Can I get you some ice? Maybe we can. No, don't drink. take a drink from her. Maybe we could have 12. That's a lot of drinks, first of all. You have a problem. I saw you in the audience. I felt terrified. That's. Who? Oh, no! Oh, that's nice. Thank you. She gonna poison him. She's gonna poison him. Can we toast to that? No. No, you can't. No, you can't. Don't. 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 No! Did I leave that here? Uh, we found that in Tim Kono's apartment. It's a bassoon cleaner. Why would Tim have that? No idea. Hold on. The murdered guy also no. played bassoon? No, you were fucking him! So do you think Tim Kono... Can we... Not talk about Can we talk about how she made you a drink with sh with uh, bourbon in it? She made you an old fashioned, which has bourbon in it. That I think Don't say murder. that. She's a murderer. Oh. <laughs> she said, "Oh, well, that's interesting." Cause she can't love you. Cause she's a fucking psychotic killer. It's like scream. I, I don't believe that, time. Jan. I don't believe it. It's usually less awkward when it happens to both people. I don't believe it. I don't believe her. I think I would love you even if you did kill Tim Kono. Why would you say that? 
Why would you say that? Mm mm. Mm mm. I don't like it. I don't like it. You know. She's. I knew it. She's poisoning him. Oh, I'm not drinking at all. I'm taking stage sips because there's poison in it. It's what you did with Tim Kono, right? What? Up drink before you shot him with his own gun. Oh God, this is so hot, Charles. It's just super exciting to be totally open together. Just let it all. He's lying. Go. You psychotic fucking bitch. Come here. Uh-huh. Jan's little toxins? Stop, that's so fucking funny. Is that if Jan weren't a murderous maniac, she'd be perfect for Charles. <laughs> I'm a sucker for lonely guys with notable age differences I meet on elevators. I think you know that. And Tim came to see you the day he died. Which was also two days after he broke up with me. I just poured two old fashions. One more for old time's sake. And then a half hour later, I dumped the glasses in his bag and just sent them on his way. I heard the bassoon that night. It sounded different. You weren't playing live. It was a recording. Oh! Yay! <laughs> oh. She's fucking crazy. And how great is an alibi where the whole building can hear you playing? Oh! Word. Aww. My cute little Jays gave me away. Wait, if he didn't take a sip, how is he? The ice? Is it the ice? Is it the ice? There it goes. That's exactly how Tim sounded. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Yeah, she, she did. Go find Charles. The day before, the day before we broke up, I found this emerald ring at his place just delivered and clearly meant for somebody else no she took it come on save charles you gotta go no mabel i'm, I'm so so sorry she did it but now you have to go save charles because she's gonna kill him i'm stressed i am stressed <sighs> nice they opened all these fireplaces back up i mean in a way it makes us all connected in the building should make for a fun finale too bad i'm gonna miss it it's gonna oh gas. she's gonna fucking break a gas line this is definitely one of my rougher breakups charles how oh you really did fall in love bullshit I will not be seeing you for sooner or later. Really? You're gonna do a pun right before you fucking kill someone? No, that's where I draw the line. Oh my god, please move. Please get up. Please tell me he was like faking it, right? No, I don't think he was faking it, but like, <laughs> please tell me he's okay. Oh my god, was he recording her? Yes, Charles! Uh, feel guy. Okay. Playing field. <laughs> ah, it's a sting song! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, don't get in the elevator! Don't get in the elevator! Oh, ah! Ooh! Oh my god, <laughs> this is so stressful. Oh my god, Charles! Hey, did Jam poison you? No, <laughs> we have to get him. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put it in there. Guess. Wait, did Jam? Uh, we have to go to the basement. Uh, how are we gonna get him anywhere? <laughs> Close for years. This is so funny. Attached to the thing that should be attached to. <laughs> what are you even saying? Pull 
down the top of your face. Yeah, I would have no idea what to do in this situation. I think we took down the thing so that the stuff won't go from the thing up into the... Yeah, we did it! Oh, oh great, and now she's here! Look at you, still kicking. I was worried that Hanky wouldn't do the full trick. Indulge me, I've always wanted to do this. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Who shall I kill? Maybe it's you. You've always wanted to do that? You're fucking, that's, do, that's so stupid. No. Oh, is he okay? This is yeah, now, Jan. Jan. Yeah, shoot Jan. Friends. Shoot me if you need don't, to. Please don't shoot him. Because I don't want to live in a world without them anymore. Aw, friendship. There were parts of myself that were dead that they brought ah, back to The life. power of friendship. It's not <laughs> <laughs> what? This is so fucking good! Yeah! Punch that bitch! Oh, and she's wearing the ring while she does it! That's gonna leave a bruise! Haha! -ha, take her away, boys! And one more toast to Mabel! <laughs> to Mabel! My girl Mabel! And you're I'm amazed! People. How spectacular that ring still looks after you knocked out a murderer. <coughs> or Charles' girlfriend. Or ex-girlfriend. Not sure how you land. Definitely ex-girlfriend. You're handling this pretty well. You know, I'm thinking of putting myself out there. Yeah! Again. I mean, I slept with a murderer. Uh -huh. That is a great story to tell on a first date. Maybe not. All I know is that we've run out of champagne. Mm, I will get some from my apartment. Oh, that's where she's gonna, that's where someone's gonna attack her and she's gonna get stabbed. Or he's gonna, someone, she's gonna stab someone, right? Is that getting Oh closer? god. Yeah, closer too. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. What's happening? Get out of the building Get out now. of the building now. Oh, what's going on? What's happening? Oh my god, this is from the beginning! What's happening? What's happening? What's going on? <gasps> Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? That's not what you think. It's Bunny! I just opened the door and she stumbled in on me. What? What's going on? Don't say a fucking word. Oh my god! Coming this fall, only murderers in the building. I wrote that. <laughs> I wrote that. That's me. That was the end of only murders in the building. So I know that they've gotten renewed for a season two, which thank God, because I need more. Holy crap, oh my God, okay. Okay, but like why was the, why were the police even going there in the first place? What happened with Bunny and Mabel? We solved one thing and then so many more questions just happened. This was so good. And that was like such a good cliffhanger to leave it on to. Wow. And they really like hinted to it the entire like season. This show was so incredibly well done. This was, oh my God. I absolutely loved this show. It, oh my God. It was like perfect perfection i loved this show so much all of the casting was so good everyone was so good in this show everyone was so good and it was so funny and like it was the perfect like combination of like true crime mystery and humor and comedy and oh my god martin short steve martin and selena gomez that is a trio i never thought would happen but thank God it did because this was so good. I can't wait for season two. I know it's probably gonna be a while, but when it does come out, we will be watching it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I had a good time. I hope you had a good time. If you watched the entire commentary series of me watching Only Murders in the Building, thank you. I hope you liked it. If you liked this video, you can like it down below. You can also subscribe. And if you wanna see more of me, all of my social medias are linked in the description below as always. And with that, I got nothing else to say. So I will see you all next time. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. <laughs>